What's going on everyone in my comfort killers nation? Welcome everyone, welcome everyone. This is our next entry in the Vast Book series. Today we have the book Will Power. So I'm talking to you guys from Los Angeles Airport. I got a, a broken leg and that's actually a perfect opportunity to speak to you about this book. I'm in Los Angeles. I'm here for personal, a personal growth, really to work on myself. I went to a training, totally, uh, totally just changed the way I view, the way I show up uh, to other people as well as in other environments and a way in which I can become more of that powerful, sharp individual that I always imagine myself to be so comfort killers this is for you guys today we have the book willpower and the book is by Baumeister and Tierney now I'm gonna just share some quick nuggets with you guys we'll make this one very quick but here's the thing willpower you have it everyone has it but we only have so much throughout the day we only have so much Right, think of it like the fuel in your in your car. There's only so much that you have in your in your engine in your tank, right? And it's up to you to make do with what you have to last throughout that day. Right? So willpower is pretty much as described in this as described in this book, a a measurement of your self-control. So it's a measurement of your self-control. And what unit of measurement is that? It's through, believe it or not guys, it's through your glucose levels. Your glucose levels, right? Hence, in other words, sugar. What are your natural sugar levels? So, here's the thing guys. This does not mean that if you have, if you eat more sugar, you'll have more willpower, right? No, it doesn't. And it doesn't mean if you have less sugar that you'll have more willpower, no. In fact, you already have glucose in your system, right? But it's how you support, how you actually support that glucose you already have and how well you do it. So, so the glucose you already have in your body, you can feed it. You definitely can feed it, right? For example, some foods that are low on the glycemic index, right? That's a great way to start. So those of you who love bread, you love pasta, you love rice, all of those things, well, guess what? That's hindering your glucose levels. It's actually spiking it up because there's so much sugar in that food that it's actually, you ever, you, let me know if any of you ever get that feeling of itis where you're like, oh goodness, I ate like way too much. Well, that itis that you get is, or Thanksgiving, that feeling that you get, that gut feeling, that's from way too much insulin, a spike in your insulin levels and glucose, right? I'm not here to give you uh, a health diagnosis, although what I will say is that those complex carbohydrates actually don't do anything for your willpower, right? They slow you down. But if you choose things that are low on the glycemic index, what does that mean? That means that your food is going to, that means that your energy levels are going to be more consistent throughout the entire day because the food, the, the glycemic index actually, uh, sl it's actually slowly processing. So it's not spiking up, it's just slowly going throughout your day. So that's one way you can actually feed you can actually feed your um, your willpower. But guys, what's awesome about this book is that, as I said earlier, it's about your self-control. So the more willpower you have, right, the more self-control you have, the stronger your willpower, right? Now, here's some exercises that the book suggests that you do for learning, for actually strengthening your self-control. Here's an example, my leg. Because I only have one leg, I'm forced to think with my other leg now how to still make it work, how to still get around from point A to point B with something that I originally had, right? My mind has to think in a different way. My mind is used to using both legs, putting 170 pounds on both legs. Now I can only put 170 pounds on one leg, right? So it's, a, it's up to me to use the willpower I have today to make sure that I have that, that I can get through on an energetic level all day with uh, with what I currently have, right? But on one leg versus where I normally have two. So some exercises you guys can do. Here's one thing: next time you open a doorknob, maybe you're a righty, 
If you're a righty, open it with the left. Next time. Watch what that does, right? That's immediately gonna create awareness for you and be like, whoa, right? That's like when you try writing something, but you write it with the other hand and you realize, oh man, I need to work on that. It's like a muscle, it's your brain, right? That you're working on. So that's one exercise. Here's some other things, right? One thing, check your posture. Next time you're sitting down, right? Or you feel slowed down for a moment, that's your willpower. You're just, you're too relaxed in the moment. One way to wake up is check your posture. Oh, am I up? That's immediately gonna shift everything in your brain, everything in your physiology, so you can do that. Here's another thing. Record, write down what you currently eat. Right, write down everything that you eat for a day and watch how much awareness that builds and write it again the next day and find out that it's going to give you another perspective on the things that you normally do that you probably just go about your day without even thinking about, right? So this self-awareness, this self-control is you taking back your body, you taking back, right, your, your mind and you being in the driver's seat, putting yourself there. Because the truth is, guys, the honest truth is most people are in the passenger seat, right? They're passing out of, of zombified throughout the world, but it's up to you to take that self-control and shift it so you can be a powerful human being. And frankly, for me, uh, those like those type of activities my glucose levels I notice are up in the morning I keep them up in the morning because I will write my goals down very early and I, I and that's why I feel like I'm most productive when I wake up early in the morning and I write my goals down I build my awareness and I immediately take self-control so guys I just wanted to share with you today's book review I will check you next time to the comfort killers see you soon guys and much love prosperity and we will do the next book review coming up in our next session next week so if you're interested in more books like this then definitely guys when you find this make sure you like you share you comment uh and tell all your friends and tell us what suggestions you have for books that you want us to do a review on until next time guys